Good morning, folks. We'll check in with our star, the hurricane. Get some eye candy and take some big swings at the end. Going to be a fun one today, and we'll start, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on our star were pretty quiet. The active regions on the south are dominant to the eye, while the northern polar coronal hole extensions turn in as well. Plasma filament activity is quiet for the most part. Most of that activity is on the incoming limb. Solar wind is very calm. Slight phi angle fluctuation and density enhancement seen in blue and yellow. We tossed a couple ones on the board over the last day. Cosmic ray health alert from yesterday's show continues at a slightly lower level. Hurricane Iota, landfall, eye wall lightning continues. At this point, we can only await word of the devastation. Good luck to everyone affected. We're going out to space with the ESA and they conceptualize a new frontier for advanced occupation, the moon. Communication, habitation, research, mining, and the expansion of life from Earth to the heavens. Video and story are linked below, along with all of our top stories of the day, including an incredible study on the vorticity and dynamics of Jovian storms. This is probably the most impressive wind map-like simulation and model of Jupiter, and it is helping them understand some of the storm patterns they actually observe on the largest planet in our system. From different layers of the atmosphere, to the flows of material, they are detailing and determining that a dynamo action exists there just like on Earth. Global Electric Circuit study of Jupiter progresses. Quick photobomb. Background images of a strange smudge on a galaxy that has now been imaged by ALMA in the foreground. Now, they just have to figure out where this lone patch of dust came from. Wink. Explosion detected in one of the Orion star-forming regions. Within the nebula, they have not only detected shock fronts, but are seeing the pieces of something that blew out into space, and did so to titanic proportion. Up next, we're looking at mantle structure, but up at the uppermost portion. We have been focusing a lot more on the large-scale structures below, which mostly come up to the transition zone around 600 kilometers down. But some portions finger up through the upper mantle and even the crust, and one of those has been identified meeting a subducting piece of the crust from the Pacific Ocean. The plume down comes from the east, and the plume upward does indeed meet a volcano in China. Okay folks, we're adding to the carbon isotope fiasco today. After watching scientists play Scrabble with isotope dates after the use of oxygen, chlorine, and krypton, we now come back to carbon to see one of the reasons it's so vulnerable to mistake and manipulation. It is 100% all about the space energy introduction to Earth. This has implications for the whole of geology, in terms of the great solar flash and magnetic reversal, the pole shifts, if they are not firmly accounted for in their models. In fact, they are missing almost entirely. This mistake leads to their having to redate that Australian crater from over 300,000 years old to less than 200,000 and take the ice caps in Tibet from over half a million years old to potentially having a maximum age of 17,000 years. Last but not least, a very convincing analysis that the real controllers of global temperature are wind and cloud cover. This is a point we have made numerous times and we literally have dozens of citations about solar and cosmic ray control over these parameters in our textbook. It's the energetic system, not so much the chemistry. We greatly appreciate your support, including hitting the like button. Our books and more can be found at otf.cells.com, website members at suspiciousobservers.org. Our Deeper Look episodes have been on a tear since early October. Catch up if you have to. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now. It's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.